Hello, my name is Ozer and yes, I'm finally giving in. Oh god, I keep saying this round, so... Like, I, I just watched like one trailer and that's about it and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. But everyone is like, oh man, this new it trailer, man, it's really cool, it's really whatever. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fine. Like, I mean, you know, even for me, like, when I was a kid, I watched, like, I remember watching Stephen King as a kid. And, like, I, I remember, uh, I mean, not Stephen King, the, the It miniseries as a kid. And I remember being scared, like, you know, with the kids, because, you know, I related to the kids. You know, I, I don't remember watching the, the adults part, because, you know, I think I just finished off and I thought, you know, that was it, you know, the kids part was done and then it was it, that was it for me, like, I'm like, no, yeah, that's it, uh, but apparently there was the second part of it, I'm like, hmm, there is a second part to it, oh my god, um, I didn't know about that, like, I mean, like, when I got, like, when I got a little older and I found out about it, like, oh, okay, let's, like, finish it, like, I legitimately thought it was another, uh, like another thing like you know i didn't think it was the same like people producing it or rather like directing it because the story was so jarringly different i'm like okay like you know uh these like the characters didn't even feel like they're their kid counterparts i'm like you sure you you're the same movie what i mean like technically a movie whatever uh, like a movie, miniseries, whatever. Okay, just that, that's just me rambling on though. Uh, I'm probably gonna try to cut some stuff. I don't know what's happening with comedies these days. You know, they're claiming fucking trailers as well. I don't, I don't understand that. But uh, yeah, you know, my Black Lightning, I had to take it down because of copyright and everything. But uh, yeah, you know, this is just me rambling now. Okay, let's go and watch uh, it. Trailer number three just released. So uh, thank you, whomever this is. I will put your um, um, link uh, in the description below. Don't worry about that. So let's go. Okay. Oh, yeah, true, true. Love interest. Yeah, that's uh, one of the things that I'm getting from this as well. It's very like Stranger Things kind of, and I think that you know the it people watch Stranger Things and they're like, oh, so that's how you do uh, an it kind of inspired thing. Ah, uh, the token kids. Oh, that was legitimately kind of freaky. I mean, the, the whole like balloon popping up all of a sudden. Okay, the eyes in the in the light is very very freaky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. There's mud tracks. What the fuck? Oh shit! Okay. I was like, yeah, I saw something move, and then that just happened. Oh, okay. So it isn't really the official trailer then. Oh. Well, congratulations. You paid yourself. There's more, wow, okay. Oh, okay. 
Oh, this is kind of like a trailer mashup. Okay. Kind of good to <laughs> catch me up, I guess. As says Georgie. Uh, this kid weirds me out a little bit, but you know, I, I get the stereotype, I get the tokenism. The one thing I never understood is like this kid playing in the rain. Like, I mean, okay, we've all wanted to do that. Like, and I, 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 and I have as well, like, you know. But, you know, it's in a safe place, you know, it's a dra like a drain and everything, and you know where it's gonna go. Yeah, that's gone forever, kid. You, 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 you can't get it back. You could probably make a new one, and that that's about that's about all you can do. Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay, so some some of it is uh pretty. That one's pretty repeated, but yeah. Yeah, the clown. This really reminds me of a uh, haunted house, you know, that the animated movie uh, that you guys don't remember because uh, I'm the only kid that really enjoyed that. <laughs> like my other friends too, were like whoa, haunted house, and I was like, bruh, the house that can turn into a freaking monster. Oh, I actually like this part. But I guess it's pretty milk as well. I'm actually afraid of the dark a little bit, like th uh, things I can't really see. That that was the second trailer, if I remember correctly, because I think I watched the first two. Not really sure. Is there more? I think there's more. There's one more. Yeah. Okay, there, there, there is a lot of repeats, but uh, there is some added as well. Yeah, that really reminds me of Monster House, Haunted House, and that actually is one of the things I want to talk about. Actually, not the Haunted House, the Haunted House slash Monster House part, but uh, the Doctor guy. What the? That's some dark humor in there. It's gray water. What the hell is gray water? It's basically piss and shit, so I'm just telling you. You guys are splashed around in millions of gallons of dairy pee. <laughs> the fuck? Are you, are you serious? What are you. You should see me when I got caught up. Have you ever heard of a staff in factory with super staff that is so unsanitary? <laughs> okay, there, there, there is some legitimately good oh comedy from like kids. Oh, that's freaky. I looks like I'm getting the whole movie here. <laughs> so thanks, YouTube. And it pops, yep. Okay, that is pretty funny, actually. Like the whole, the whole like 10 pin balloons kind of thing. Hello there. You good? You done? You good? No. We, we're just gonna stay on this visual for like the last 50 minutes. For for the last 50 seconds, I mean. Yeah, there's a little bit more, so. Well, it's mostly photos, so I think it's pretty much done. Alright, I'm gonna stop it here because it doesn't seem to have anything more. Uh, yeah, that was all three trailers I would think you know it's extended one uh, thank you movie excess trailers again uh, yeah I know I didn't say your name probably the first time but yeah thank you guys uh, thank you movie excess trailers <coughs> for the wonderful wonderful extended trailer 
and uh, it must have been a hard work because you know it's uh, three trailers all together. I'm just trying to find the scene with the doctor that I always see because that is the guy I want to talk about because that is that is really 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 interesting for me. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes, this guy. Yeah, I did it perfectly. Uh, this guy looks to me like the clown. So I would think, like, for the story to be more interesting and to kind of give it more of a twist, that it could be a guy, just like this, like living in Derry. Okay, maybe you know he's he's still a special entity, obviously, you know, because he's been reincarnated since. 1819 or 1862 whatever okay like he can still be uh, uh, you know a special entity and everything but he can also like incorporate into another form so that's gonna be something interesting and one of the things I hope that they, they're gonna do with this movie is that they don't forget that there is gonna be another part because like just like the miniseries there's gonna be two parts the first part is the kids part and all of that and the second part is gonna be them you know dealing with it in their adult lives you know I hope they maybe in their adult lives maybe give off some flashbacks or something like that and you know maybe you know keep some of their their characters you know and personality wise and everything and I hope it's just not you know tokenisms you know not just token characters that was in the the old series as well the old mini series um for me you know this part uh in particular when they're in the um, when they're in the sewer or whatever that is it's a it's a t tunnel sewer whatever uh this part right here where where they're just like be like creating banter among themselves i'm like okay that that kind of gives us off some cheese but also kind of like a little bit of chemistry and dynamics which we didn't really have with the original ones except that you know they they're just misfits that happen to join each other and I know there are some people who do, do things like this as well I'm not I'm not hating against that but I'm just like why not do things more differently maybe you know it's kind of like neighborhood friends kind of thing because they they go back like one day and they're all like oh like are you living in my neighborhood kind of thing i don't know like you know make it kind of different you know uh for me the clown is uh pretty okay um i wasn't scared of, in this uh, a little bit okay like maybe the the like the jarring like the georgie kind of like passing by the screen i almost jolted because i'm like oh what's that uh, but that's about it. And maybe the the attic scene where where the cloud is like blended in with all these like a carnival article. <coughs> shit, sorry. The blended in with the carnival articles and shit like that. And then you see a slight head movement, and I'm like, okay, that that's pretty that's pretty cool actually, and that's pretty freaky for me. Um, his eyes are what get me. I think that's why they keep they keep focusing on the eyes because they wanna make sure you know those are like evil eyes, like devil eyes, kind of. And uh, you know, spoilers alert! Like you know, in the mini series, he turns out to be a, like a giant monster. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it off there because like, I don't know if anybody of you guys like clicked off when I said spoilers. Okay, I'm not gonna reveal anything, but you know, it kind of ties into a certain review that I recently did. Okay, uh, uh, like a insect, a bug, an animal of some sort. Okay, uh, <laughs> uh, that uh, that has uh, eyes and legs and. <laughs> It was pretty freaky for me when I was a kid, see, like, okay, when I was, like, maybe not really a kid, but, like, seeing this for the first time, I was like, oh, okay, that, that actually gave the scale to how big it was, and I think, you know, future uh, movies and all that, you know, I'm more into that, I mean, like, the whole, like, cave sequence with uh, Super 8, that was really cool for me, because I saw the, all the, um, like, the, um, 
uh, like husks and everything, keeping the people in, you know, the that embryo kind of thing. And uh, for me, I think you know, um, what was it? <sighs> Fuck, I I've watched too many movies. That's how you know. <laughs> um, what what was it? What was it? What was it? Ah, fish! I forgot. I forgot. Uh, there was there was another movie um, that had this kind of feel as well. Uh, well, it's it's not really Stranger Things because Stranger Things is is kind of the, like the background, you know. It's in this whole other world. There was another movie with this kind of feel, like you know, uh, you got like the the kids going off and uh, finding some stuff. Like Stand by Me is more of a murder kind of thing, but also can be explained in the like the you know weird of the kids imaginations like that's one of the things I I get from this it may be just from the kids imagination but that's where the second part comes in so I hope that kind of plays it off of the the whole thing like you know they, they get back for a reunion whatever and then you know somebody sees the thing uh, the, the thing which is it and says like oh that, that's still there and then they're like ah nah you just said it cuz you know, you wanted to freak us out again or whatever. But then they all go and investigate and find out that, you know, oh, it's really real. So now they have to fucking defeat the thing finally. Uh, because they def didn't defeat it as kids. I don't know why as well. Like, that's something I, I always get, like, cringed about. Because I'm like, why do we even need them, the... Um, the adults part because you could just kill that thing instantaneously yes okay it may have reincarnated whatever into your town back again but that just means your town is fucked so why did you come back you know what i'm saying like i know that that's it's a, it's a reunion whatever but you could just be like you know what bros and random chick um i think that you know there's too many bad memories for me there so I'm not gonna go see you or let's meet up somewhere else you know what I'm saying like I'm, sh I'm pretty sure when they're adults they, they have the phones and everything obviously this is gonna be set in that 80s kind of thing and you know they, they they look about you know children's age like 11 like 12 11 nearing 13 14 easily so if you fast for even like 10 years they would be like 20 which is like in present times you you'd get an iPhone or a you know a Samsung or a or a I don't know a Huawei or a P10 I don't fucking know okay you you'd get a smartphone is all I'm saying <laughs> um what else is there to say but yeah the, the most most of the the like the jump scare scenes I'm kind of ready for it cuz I'm like yeah it, it's there but I'm like yeah I don't have any feeling to it uh, I might do like a few challenges as well to show you how deadpan I can really be like I, I'm actually planning to do a tr tr not try not to laugh or like try not to like I watched some of the like the FBs of like you know uh, because I've unsubscribed from them and they just so happen to appear on my suggested I'm like okay let's just watch a little bit uh, I can do the try not to sing like, challenge that was so easy for me I'm like dude not even trying except for the Michael Jackson part I'm like nah I, I can't because that's Michael Jackson and I always groove to Michael Jackson you know he's, he's the king of pop so what you, what you, what you gonna do okay <laughs> um, but yeah that that's about it um, I just wanted to talk about uh, it um, I might do another scary one uh, jigsaw I'm not really sure yet so uh, just stay tuned for that and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the future uh, see you then mm -hmm.